A Harvard University team's research into the amphibian species Oxalotl was left in limbo after it lost federal funding. But as Steve Harbin reports, a donation for the Ivy League research team left the scientists, well, flabbergasted. Um, why do you think that that would matter for humans? Professor Jessica Whited leads a team of researchers at Harvard University, all studying the axolotl, that salamander with a superpower to regrow body parts. And we want to find out the secrets, like the actual molecular secrets of how they regenerate limbs. So someday. that people could regrow limbs? That is the hope someday, yep. A hope that faded a few months ago when her team lost almost all its government funding. It was dark times until the day a donor stepped forward. It definitely had a positive effect on every, everyone in the lab. Everybody was just flabbergasted. Flabbergasted, not by the size of the donation, but rather the size of the donor. Six-year-old Marianne Cullen of Springfield, Massachusetts, is obsessed with axolotls. There's more to them than just being cute. They can grow back any limb. And, she says, they're endangered. And there's way other animals that need saving, but this one is my destiny to save. Parents, Kat and Rob Cullen. And I think she took it kind of to the next level, honestly. She said, I want to raise money for axolotls. Mm -hmm. So, to support conservation and research, Marianne built a PowerPoint and held a fundraiser, made $1,000 for the lab. But why is all this your responsibility? Not a lot of people get how important it is to save this animal. And therefore, you have to take the lead. I feel like I do. Hi, Marianne. It's the okay. courts have since reinstated the lab's funding. No telling if that will stand. Show you my office. But regardless, you. Professor Whited says Marianne's contribution will always Aren't they cute? keep her going. Sometimes you know who's fighting for you in life, and sometimes you don't. And that's always the time when you're just like, pause and be like, wow. <laughs> so there's a bone in here, right? And certainly, in the world of axolotl research, that kind of encouragement is worth an arm and a, another arm. And eventually it goes back and gets the whole thing. Steve Hartman, on the road, in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Incredible, wow.